Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, the station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mongi Francis. I'm taking you through chemistry form one and and the goals of this lesson. So by the end of this lesson, you'll have been able to achieve the following goals. Number one, we will state the, uh, the nature of matter. We will recall how matter uh, looks like. Uh, state kinetic theory of matter and we'll be able to state and explain the processes through which matter changes its state. So the nature of matter, anything that occupies space and has mass, it can exist in three different states depending on the prevailing temperature. Which are these states? We have solid, uh, solid state, we have gas state, and we have liquid state so matter can exist in any of these three states depending on what the prevailing temperature so what is kinetic theory of matter basically matter uh, is made up or it consists of very tiny particles many of them which are in constant uh, random motion constantly moving or in a continual state of motion so the degree to which these particles move uh, is determined by the amount of energy that these particles have and the relationship of these particles to other particles. So they may be in solid state, as you can see. In solid state, the particles are held in fixed position. Uh, they vibrate in fixed position. They are packed closely together. In liquid state, uh, the intermolecular distance between the particles is not that big. Uh, the, the, the particles have a, a distance from one to another and therefore they can basically move they don't have a shape basically they take the shape of the container and uh, they have a definite mass a definite uh, volume but they don't have shape what about gaseous state in gaseous state the particles have maximum kinetic energy and therefore the, their motion is very high, they don't have shape, neither do they have a definite volume or definite mass. Uh, gases are basically uh, the particle in which matter has got its uh, maximum kinetic energy. But in solids, again, the particles have minimum kinetic energy. In liquid state, they have moderate kinetic energy. So how can we determine one dissolving potassium permanganate when you dissolve potassium permanganate you will observe that these particles by leaving the solution uh, undisturbed uh, you'll, you will be able to observe the motion uh, illustrated on this picture as you can see we have uh, some uh, the purple color of potassium permanganate uh, distributing itself evenly and uh, eventually the liquid will have its shape, uh, uh, its color solely as purple. And if we dilute this solution again, the last particle or the last grass will have a uh, raised and raised color of potassium permanganate. This, uh, this is because the particles are distributing themselves throughout the liquid as we continue with the process. So what are the changes of state in terms of kinetic theory? One, we have solid, liquid, and gas as the states through which matter exists. So solid changes its state to liquid through melting. Liquid changes its state when heated through vaporization or evaporation. Once again, when gases, uh, when the temperature of gas is lowered, a state uh, changes to liquid through the process of condensation. And when there's temperature of the liquid is decreased, uh, freezing takes place, uh, which is a process through which the liquid changes its state to solid. But there are substances when the temperature is increased, they don't go through the liquid stage, but rather the temperature makes the solid to change its state from solid direct to gas. This is due to the nature of the bond and structure of this substance. So we have sublimation from solid to gas 
and basically from gas to solid rivers sublimation the two processes are sublimation previously we mentioned substances that do sublime so when they are heated remember once again we obtain a heating curve which now can be used to determine the criteria of this substance a heating curve as shown here from solid uh, we have melting and in liquid state we have at boiling point uh, evaporation where state changes to gas and the reverse can as well as be indicated so what did we say in solid state particles are held in fixed position and we have strong forces of attraction with minimum kinetic energy liquid state we have moderate force of attraction and me, uh, the same case with kinetic energy but in gaseous state maximum kinetic energy raise force of attraction between particles and uh, let's see now whether we have achieved uh, the goals of this lesson by answering the following question so question number one state the kinetic theory of matter uh, risk the processes that can switch a brefit to represent the arrows in the diagram below. So we have ice which changes its state to vapor and again uh, precipitation occurs and gives us a liquid for instance. So which uh, suitable uh, processes can we uh, use to refer to the arrows which we have on this diagram from vapor to ice? and ice to vapor, uh, we have liquid and back to vapor, and we have ice and liquid uh, states. So, you can refer to this textbook for more information, or you can send us an SMS through the number on your screen. Uh, you can visit our YouTube or Facebook page for more lessons, and you can give us a tweet at erimutv underscore ke. So once again, you are Toto Mr. Mongi. Stay tuned to more lessons to come. Thank you.